guys, Kuro Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. And we are back with Lost. I need I need all my water. I need to like put a new cover over it. So that it says Dharma on it. Okay. I think we should do that. So last time, Rick, what happened? Well, uh, retelling of events from a different perspective. Mm hmm But also seeing Michael and Sawyer out on a raft. Yep. They came back to land. They found Jen! <gasps> Yay! I just, I just, he's, I being, just, he, he's being chased. I just, by the others. With weapons. Yes. We also, uh, in seeing that other space, uh, saw a little bit more about that hatch. Specifically, that it has something to do with something called Dharma. There's a lot of food in there. Yeah. And it seems like a shark got out or something. Yes. <laughs> True. There's, like, scientific equipment down there. Uh -huh. It said quarantine. And he's like, are you sick? Are they? I mean, who would be... Everybody seems to be perfectly healthy. Except for Arts. Hurley, maybe not the most. What? Healthy. What's wrong with him? I mean, what? Maybe we can be healthy, is that what you're trying to say? Maybe? Four. Eight. What if Hurley was sitting there? You know for sure he wouldn't. <laughs> also, he's pressing space in between those. He said, put in exactly what I say and nothing else. Fuck, fucked it all up. Fucked it up. Should have done it. Unless it adds the space. Is he hitting the space bar? Maybe it's like sometimes when you put in like information, it adds the space. Maybe. It's not what you want to see when you get to the beach. He's a big boy. Oh, hold the camera still for me. We're gonna have a fight. You can't see well. They started shaking it way more once you said that. Oh my god. Well, shit. Did they leave the other two or they got them too? They got them. It takes two to carry, but he's got. <laughs> well, damn. Ugh. This is like that pit they got stuck in and Homer bound. I could get out of that pit. Is this your destiny? Now's not the time. <laughs> Something you want to say? My dad stole my kidney. Mm. You want your damn $30 back? I want my kidney back. Anger management has worked. Sorry, you ever see Married with Children? Oh, yeah. Well, you just said everything I've always wanted Peg. to say in there. Yeah. I like bald guys. Well, I'm not bald. I <laughs> can wait. I can wait. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that lady from sci -Fi. Oh, with those guns? Yes. A few. Yes. Time to go all Doom Guy. That is a big old shotgun. I don't know if I... I guess it depends on what kind of shells, but this is a hostage situation. Yeah. <laughs> she might need a little more precision. Or maybe they're slugs. <laughs> oh. That can't be good. Saeed can fix it. We're all gonna die. Must be an important computer. I mean, if it was the Unix computer, it's probably still fine. I like the confidence you have in Saeed. He's done more with less. Do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the time. It is the time. Turn it off and on again. <laughs> what? Nothing, Jack. You know, Locke's just thinking about, do I know you? And destiny and all that. Yeah. Wait, wasn't Helen his phone sex girl? Wasn't that her name? He didn't know that name. Where are you going? Clearly, no he's I... had sex. Just no phone. I... Morning. Hi, Dad. You're not wanted. Ugh. I'd be mad at that lady with the 30 bucks, too, man. Should have punched him in, his, in your kidney. Yeah, taking it back. Saeed can fix a computer. Get him. How are you gonna get him? It was like 90 seconds. Kelvin died, and now here I am all alone. The end. <laughs> here, here's your glass jar. All right, it's not seconds. Watch the film. <laughs> film. Orientation. They're not for science. It's about time things are finally returning to normalness. Normalness. Oh crap. 
Blindfolded. You had the wrong guy to push up. Well, but also he can't push up others. True. Is the reason you're so upset because he said he recognized you? <laughs> because that would be impossible. <laughs> Just watch the film. Three of six. Mm -hmm. I'll take notes if you want to watch. The Swan, not a snake. The Dharma Initiative was created in 1970 and is the brainchild of Gerald and Karen De Groot, huh? two doctoral candidates at the University of Michigan. It's gotta be right. It is highly recommend that you and your partner take alternating shifts. In this manner, you will stay as fresh as <sighs> Poor Desmond. Yeah, you gotta sleep. <laughs> You know, uh, every 108 minutes. We're gonna need to watch that again. Yep. There's a lot of there's a lot Same of things I was gonna say. <laughs> you just have to promise me that you're not gonna go to that place anymore. Helen's another one of his dad's ag dad's agents. Oh, <laughs> oh stop! <laughs> Let the man be happy. You're gonna watch that again, aren't you? No. You should be happy. This is the science. <laughs> there's a couple words in there that. I think a scientist would be like, huh? <laughs> sure enough. Who are you? We crashed here. Flight 815? The plane came apart. And somebody's freaking hard side came out of the overhead and knocked me out. You've been out here by yourself all this time. Trying to find food. Is she from Jack's backstory? Shit yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you ever think that maybe they put you down here to push a button every hundred minutes just to see if you would? That all of this, the computer, the button, is just a mind game. Every single day. <laughs> the film says this is an electromagnetic station. And I don't know about you, brother. But every time I walk past that concrete wall out there, my feelings hurt. <laughs> oh, man. Literally a ticking time bomb. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you do? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, man. Change yourself to the bed. <laughs> John. Poor sight. Dude. Found the food. Back up! Coming out! Really, everything that guy does, he does with the force of three men. Good guy. <laughs> I've been training for this. Mm -hmm. oh, every time in the jungle. I know you. I met you. Stop. There was this skull. You, you were worried. You said. You said you failed her. What happened to her? It doesn't matter. How can you say it doesn't I matter? I married her! <laughs> See you in another life, yeah? They both somehow show up on Mars together. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> All I need to know is that the timer is counting down to something. And that this computer needs to be repaired. I'm sure you'll tell me why once I've done so. Exactly why. You might not like the answer. Four, eight. Wait a minute. Fifteen, sixteen. Dude, I'm serious. <laughs> Stop. Hugo, this is not the time or the place. Yeah, well, I think it is. Thirty-two. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Forget it. Go ahead, do your thing. It's not thirty-two. <laughs> it's forty-two. You do it, Jack. <laughs> you have to do it. Tell them about the snowman. Why do you find it so hard to believe? Why do you find it so easy? It's never been easy! It's a leap of faith, Jack. He had to wait till the last second, didn't he? 
I'll take the first shift. <laughs> All right. We've got some answers. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. In a very cut up version. Uh huh. Three of six. The swan. Yeah. Yeah. Last episode, you, you kept saying snake, and I, I remember thinking, like, I know it's not, but goddamn, if it doesn't look like a snake to me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black swan. Uh huh. Which has a few different meanings. Yeah. In, like, software development, it means, like, a mistake so bad that it's going to sink the company. Mm-hmm. Like, you just, it's a mistake, but you pour resources into it, pour resources into it until... Trying, trying to fix it? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I think it has another, another meaning, too, though. But I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. So Desmond was there for three years? Yeah. He said three years ago. He said three years ago. Yeah. He was he in a race around the world. Kelvin. He met Kelvin. He crashed on the beach, and Kelvin came and got him immediately. Kelvin, yeah, Kelvin was expecting a replacement, which seems to indicate that um, maybe he was, like, part of the, the thing. Because, like, I don't know. We have no idea, like, how long Kelvin was here. Yeah. Like, I, I, like if it were me, I wouldn't be waiting for a replacement if the replacement didn't come for the last guy, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess in some way I would, but... I don't know. I just wouldn't phrase it that way. Like they say, it's a two-person job. Yeah. Kelvin was just one guy. And they did say at the beginning of that orientation film that the Darman Initiative started in 1970. Mm-hmm. How long had Kelvin be, been there? Has he been here since then or not? But the one question I love that Jack asked that Desmond just didn't answer was, how do you get food? Because they seem to have a lot of food in there. Yeah, I mean... You know, if the replacements were supposed to come, I yeah. assume that means the food was supposed to come as well. And um, I forget how long they said the shift were. I have to go back and watch the whole thing. But I doubt it was 10 years. Yeah. And it's been more than 10 years. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, where'd the food come from? Yeah. A lot of stuff in this episode. Like the, the you know, the <clears throat> flashback uh, stuff. I always love John Locke's flashback stuff just because the actor is so good. But there's just so much going on. Yeah. Down in that hole. Down in that <laughs> other hole. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anna Lucia. Anna Lucia. Who we saw at the airport, right? When they were showing, like, everyone, um, like, boarding the plane or, you know, the, like, that time. Like, uh, several of them interacted with each other, mm-hmm. like, unknowingly. We saw, yeah, Jack was at the uh, airport the bar. bar. Yeah. And Anna Lucia was there. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's the same woman, but I think John Locke's phone sex girl was Helen. Helen. I, I don't think that's the same Helen, but it makes sense as to why he would fixate with someone with the name Helen, maybe. Yeah. He wanted to replace that hole, however he ended up losing her. Yeah, I mean, Helen, uh, yeah, exactly. We know that that scene takes place much later, because obviously he's still in the wheelchair, or he's in the wheelchair yeah. then. Yeah. He's completely bald. Yes. Um, <laughs> I can wait. Yeah, I can wait. That's a great line. I like bald guys. I like bald men. Isn't that what the lady says in Seinfeld? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marissa Tomei, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But it is, Yeah, they built it to study the weird electromagnetic, or not electromagnetic, but just the, the magnetic properties of the island. Like, that's why the station yeah. is there. They actually said unique electromagnetic fluc- uh, fluctuating things in this part of the island is what they said yeah but some of the stuff they said they also studied like one of those things was like utopia and mm-hmm. it sounded very much like um bioshock yeah right and like wanting to make this utopian society yeah but also it's a science thing it felt like after science as well sure yeah like they threw a lot of things at you all at once the one thing that i always take note of is when they say zoology and they show Two polar bears. Yeah, you know, it's like, huh? Okay. I recognized. I recognized the stock footage from the clouds. Yeah. Because that's used in so many movies. Oh, okay. And I'm sure that polar bear footage was stock footage too. Did you recognize uh, Doctor? Uh, I did. Martin. I, I recognize his, his face, but I can't place him. He is. Uh, he plays Mao in The Expanse that we're watching. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. He's the father, Mao. Yeah. Where I've and then them. Helen, of course, plays Peggy from uh, mm-hmm. uh, Married with Children. She's also in a fantastic show called Sons of Anarchy that I know her the most from. Mm. 
there was a lot of names, a lot of information thrown out there, what these scientists do. Um, they said it was started by Gerald and Karen DeGroot, <laughs> which is a name that me and Rick would recognize from Black Sails. Yep. There was a uh, master of the ship, or whatever the name of the guy was. He was whatever. a navigator, I think. Whichever he was. He was... Anytime there's disagreement, De Groot was always right. He was always right. He he didn't have much to do in terms of like making choices, creating drama, and being the backstabber. He was just the reliable guy. Yep, he was. And if you went with De Groot, you were always right. So if this was started, they also uh, said that they get financial backing from a man named Hanzo. Okay. Which I always think of the Hanzo swords from Kill Bill. But, yeah, a lot of different things. I mean, we can actually go back, because, like Locke said, it's like, I want to watch that again. Yeah. So, I figured that we would go ahead and watch it again. Okay. Uh, the very, very end of Lost, we don't really, you don't hear it very much, because I always turn it off. But it stops, and then a- after it stops, it goes with this ending thing music, which is this. <laughs> So a lot of uh, fans recognize that music. You don't so much because like, we end up shutting it off because like we gotta talk immediately, you yeah. know. But it's always funny when this thing starts because there's that music. <laughs> so it's, it does say station three of six, the mm-hmm. Swan. Which you know is that all on this island? Are they mm-hmm. on different islands? All over the world? Yeah. Great child, Gerald and Karen DeGroote, two doctor candidates. Michigan. They were doctoral candidates? Like, mm-hmm. they didn't actually get their doctorates? I don't know. I mean, they seem to be like they're teaching or doing something right here. So, obviously, there's a lot of weirdness in this, in this edit. Yeah. Someone's splicing and cutting and sure. doing things. Like, what did they skip over and how to get to the financial backing guy? You know? And who, who spliced it? Mm. It will be for the next 500. So 540 days, it, it would seem like the replacements come. Yeah, that's like your shift. So it's almost two years. Yep. Congratulations. Until you retake. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, they were doing experiments here. There's some type of incident, and now they have to push the button. Uh-huh. Jack immediately, you know, says, like, he talks to Desmond. He's like, don't you think that they're just fucking with you? That it's just a experiment? Yeah. Every day. I think about it every day, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, the thing is, like, if it was that important, mm-hmm. why aren't they sending replacements? Yeah. Why would they only send two people to yeah. begin with? You know, like, if it was this all-important thing. Yeah. Presumably, the island was uninhabited when they started these experiments. Mm-hmm. And so, like, well, you know, if this island blows up, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, so when he's saying, like, you know... But he said, save the world, his words. So, like, the world implies something much bigger than this. Yeah. Save the world. Press the button. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, Jack's like, well, I think it could just be bullshit. And he has this the thing that keeps, you know, because I, I always, when I watch this episode, I'm like, man, Jack's going so hard. But often, he never sleeps. He hasn't slept since how long? You know, last season. And it's fucking with him so hard that he sees that guy that told him about that miracle that he ended up pulling off. And then he got with this woman that he thought that was his destiny, you know? That was his destiny. Yeah. I and mean, then he's not with her anymore. You know, the thing is, is, all this is flying in the face of Jack's strongest held belief. Mm-hmm. You know, that science can explain things. Yeah. Or and that things have a reason that is scientifically based. Yeah. And it's, you know... It's a bunch of scientists telling him it, too, you know? Yeah. But we also have Locke, who comes down here, expects something, just mm-hmm. knowing that this is his destiny. And then he's like, I'll take the first shift, you know? But like at first, he's like, I don't get it. Well, yeah, he, finds, he finds science, yeah. right? And like, yeah. like, he sees science and Jack sees faith. Yeah. And like, neither of them are 100% have what they want or are completely on board. Mm-hmm. But it's, they're just so desperate to have it. They just... Yeah. They just do it. Yeah. Desperate. That's what I would call the flashback. That's the word I would use. Yeah. Like, he just craves to be acknowledged by his father, you know? Man, the the scene where he has the coffee cup and he's trying to just 
Don't worry about it. Don't hit you. Know, the, the, what he just said, like you know, what he what, what exactly was said. You're not wanted. Yeah. You know, and then he just gets out of the car, and the way Terry O'Quinn plays that moment when he tries to cover up his emotion with the coffee cup, but it only serves to enhance that moment, is yeah. so well acted that I just I feel bad for him, and think that I need to go hug John Locke, not. Terry Quinn, good job. It's yeah. like that person was real for a second, you know? <laughs> That's how good it was. Uh, I'm looking at my notes to look like a crazy person. That is wrote so much down, but... Yeah, I mean, the others, like, it would make sense that they are also from the plane. At least, okay. at least Anna is, right? Yeah. You know, you try to do us versus them and tribalism and things, but sure. it's always two sides of the same coin. Yeah. You know, like we're not we're not that different. So, it's interesting if one half goes this side and the other half goes this side and now there's a Lord of the Flies. So now they're the others for each other. Yeah. So, in that model, who are those guys on that boat? Who are the guys on the boat? Who are the ones that took Rousseau's child? Yeah. Alex. Um, but that's not to say that there aren't just always others. Yeah. And they just get replaced by more that come in because of the electromagnetism of the island, Ooh, yeah. which brought in the boat, which uh -huh. caused the plane to crash. What was the incident? You know, what the inciting incident? The what? Yeah, what's you know? They said that they were doing experiments here, and then an incident happened, and now we must do this. You know? Yeah, I mean, I go to the shadow creature. I think like a portal to another dimension. No. You know. <laughs> Something that... I mean, like, Desmond didn't seem to... At least that orientation thing, like, it said, you need to do this, but it didn't say, like, if you don't, the world blows apart. Did they yeah. say that? You know, no. Desmond says that. He says that's what but, he was told. you know, is this the same film that Desmond saw? Uh-huh. Like, either it was spliced for malicious reasons of not wanting to show someone the whole picture, mm -hmm. or over time it got caught in the tape... Yeah. And, like, these parts got ruined, you have to cut them out, you have to put them back together. Mm -hmm. And, like, you just save as much as ever as you can. Yeah. So, like, who knows how far along in the game of telephone we are when it comes to this tape. Do those missing pieces exist? Mm -hmm. Were they hidden? Or were they just destroyed? Yeah. Either maliciously or just because. But it reminds me of um, Deadly Premonition, which you won't know. But also Assassin's Creed, the yeah. Like the old ones. Uh huh. Of like, it gives you these little glimpses. Yeah. And like, once you see it all together, you're like, ah. Oh. Except in Assassin's Creed, it still doesn't make a lot of sense. But. There's some Adam and Eve stuff with that. Yeah. <laughs> I get you. Should I recognize the blonde woman in the picture with Desmond? Can we go back to that? We can. I have no idea where it was. Like, for the life of me, I can't remember what Jack's wife looks like. But that was my first thought. Mm. It was like, that is Sarah. Yeah. Jack's wife looks like uh, a main character from uh, Modern Family, I and I can tell you that that is not the main character from Modern Family. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, so then yeah, I don't yeah. I don't recognize her. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's important. Yeah, it'd be weird to have a close-up of a picture randomly, never address it again. Though, if, it, if something was going to do it, it would probably be the show. <laughs> it's been pretty good so far. No, it has. I mean, like, this episode, I should say, because, like yeah. I said, that orientation film throws a lot at you, and this show, yeah. especially here early season two, they want you to analyze every second of that film. Mm -hmm. Every choice, every sound edit, every cut, why did they cut, you know, who's these names? Let's go look it up, you know? University of Michigan. Like, people, they wanted you to, people to be insane, but they also, there's a method to that madness, too, sure. you know? Well, I mean, that's all great, but it serves as the backstory for Jack versus John. It does, you know, dude. That <laughs> scene when why is it so hard for you to believe? Why is it so easy? It's never been. It's never easy. been easy. Oh, it's my soul. Like, yeah, it's like someone's punched me in like my lower back spine. I don't know. I don't know why it resonates so much. No, it. it it's so great. Yeah, because like. I've never been particularly a man of faith. Mm -hmm. I definitely fall more on the science side of things. Sure. But, like, it's important to remember that the other side of any issue is also a struggling human. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know? 
Like, just because they believe in something that provides them comfort yeah. doesn't mean that their lives have been any easier than yours. Absolutely agree. I, I try to strive for that fine line of try to believe in as many true things as possible and disbelieve as many false things as possible. But what method are you able to decide or figure out for yourself which is which? It seems like the best method for that is the scientific method, you know? So what are our reasons for believing things? And I've had to confront a lot of beliefs in my life by saying, like, you know what? I have a really bad reason for believing this. What's the null hypothesis, i.e., what's the default? What has the burden of proof? That's why I love Legal Eagle so much, you yeah. know? But then you have time in your life, Eric, mm -hmm. where you're watching Cobra Kai. I know. you're like, I have no reason to believe that this thing's going to happen. I know. And then, by the grace of God, it does. Exactly. And it's the best thing that's ever happened to you. Like, I, I, I'm pretty skeptical of a lot of things, but Jack, some crazy shit just happened. And granted, a one in a million coincidence, let's say, Yeah. if you think about the sheer amount of people in the world, is not that big of a deal. Yeah. It happens all the time, you know? So it's not extraordinary that it happens. It but the guy who said you might be able to fix this woman, just believe, yeah. is in that fucking hole, you know? And <laughs> John Locke is telling you, this is important, this thing is down here, you know? I love that moment when John's like, why is it why is it scary that he said that he knew you, Jack? You know, yeah. like the, he he found the one thing that J that that Jack Shepard was covering up for with all that anger and all that meanness that he was throwing at. But you know, John Locke found the one thing that he knew was that screw that he can't get out of his fucking head. You know, and then when he has the gun to Desmond and he just breaks down like I married her. You know, he doesn't have like I personally don't have anything like that in my life. If I did, I might take faith a little more seriously. Yeah. You know, because um, there's a lot of things that you know are unexplained, but I simply just go with, well, I can't explain it. You know, yeah. but I don't have anything like I was paralyzed and now I can walk. Well, that might change some stuff. And, and that's the best thing, yeah. I think, because the best proof for Jack the Spine Surgeon uh -huh. is John Locke, who won't tell anyone. <laughs> who won't tell anyone. And, like, Jack has no way to verify it. He yeah. can't get access to his old medical records. Uh -huh. Like, he didn't see the before he. Probably isn't gonna open him up and see the after. Yeah, but like, he's the proof. He is. I mean, it's proof enough where he goes from what he was to this. Like, it's transformed him. But I, I just love that it's like each one of them has half an answer, and when you put them together, it's not a full answer. <laughs> There's something about that that's so great to me, because that's so that's so life, you know? Yeah. Because like the thing about faith is, I feel like you know. You can justify literally any belief with faith. You know, if you had a better reason, you wouldn't rely on faith. That's what you, makes it scary. You'd have the good reason, and that's what makes it scary because there's literally no position that you couldn't arrive at without faith. But, like, you know, there are some certain level of strength to that faith that some people will, you know, Jeremiah Denton, who was a, uh, a rear admiral in the Navy and he was shot down in Vietnam. And every single other prisoner in the Hanoi Hilton broke, but he didn't. He was a man of God, and he believed that he was going to live, and he did. Yeah. He survived. He was holding mass, like, because he was a Catholic guy. He was holding mass by tapping on the wall, telling everybody the rosary and stuff, you know? And everybody else broke, and they said, shut up, I don't want to hear it, we're all going to die. But he kept his sanity, and he's the man, when the Vietnamese brought him in front of cameras, spelled out the word torture. Blinking. Yeah. So there was a strength to that, and it's a strength I don't quite understand. I don't think Jeremiah, Jeremiah didn't understood, and certainly John Luck doesn't understand. Yeah, no, and I mean, that is a thing, too. Like, you know, science doesn't know why we need sleep or True. why we dream, but we seem to need that. Yep. Like, does humanity need faith? Mm -hmm. Is it something that is just an integral part of why the makeup the, of our brains? Why is the placebo effect a thing? Yeah. Like, it's, like it surely helps but we don't know why. Yeah. Like sugar pills don't cure cancer, but there's a certain curve here when you tell someone that it's curing your cancer that they go into remission. So it's very strange. Is it the power of the will? 
Is this Karen Lagan? Spiral power. Oh, spiral power. All comes back to that. I love Lost, not only because we get some great performances and some great stuff like that, but we get to have these discussions. What do you think Hurley's gonna do now that all the food's there? I think it's gonna, you know, he was start, starting to, he's like down a couple of notches in his belt. I think it's about to dwindle because the secret's gonna get out. What's the one thing in there that you, you the would... The crazy thing, too, is... Hmm. Like, they don't even know that the raft is back. Like, they know nothing about the raft. So th they can't go look or save them or whatever. Like, they don't know about the raft. They don't know about Walt, except for, weirdly, Shannon. Well, Bill. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that moment with, you know, him almost shooting Kate, like, three times. I think we're past it now. But like, we do have a lot of stuff to cover still. Like, the thing could be, maybe the others is the right side in this thing. And maybe some of our people... Go over to that side, you know? Who's to say we're on the right side of the island? Maybe. Like, do the others know about the button? I don't know. Do they have their own? I mean, this is uh, station three of six, mm -hmm. so... Six buttons? Maybe. I just can't imagine not sleeping for more than 100 minutes. I mean, that would be awful. Like a, it's, it's almost torture, but I mean, it's not, it's not because you're at least able to sleep a little bit. Even micro naps are better than no nap. Yeah. You know, but... That would be awful. Now, I wonder at what point, like, I wonder what I would do. If I was there, like, would I push the button? Would I not push the button? Like, would you, yeah. Yeah. And I would what probably happens? have a little bit of an advantage in that, yeah. like, I could theoretically go in and maybe read the code mm. and get some answers that way. Yeah. Because it's a computer. It's a computer program. The computer program has to do something. It has to be stored on that computer on a server, which is, it's not going to be on, like, in the cloud. That's true. From 1970s technology. So, like... But Dr. Martin says, do not use the computer for any other... <laughs> <laughs> so what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't know anything about that. Like, it seems like Desmond didn't know much either, but he was still, like, well, I mean, trying to do he, something. He's a, a runner or a sailor or something. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure what exactly the race was. Yeah. Like, you know, when, when he was like, I think I fixed it, I think I fixed it, and then Han Solo, like, creates more doors... <laughs> To the bunker, you know that's exactly what happened. It is. You're right. <laughs> but Saeed, I love Saeed. He just comes in. He just like I'll fix it, and then you will tell me what it is later. He backs the play. He backs the play. Uh, Hurley, uh, sorry, hearing the numbers, but then he's like 32, huh? Let's let it go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Well, a uh, lot more to talk about next week. Thank you guys for watching our reactions to Lost, or specifically mine. If you want to see more, you can right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Also, check out blindwave.net. Not only does it have all of that, it also has a link to our shop as well, which you can go check out. Notebooks, shirts, stickers, mouse pads, and yep. more.